This week's episode of Nudgy Rugby Review is brought to you by Bank of Queensland Kipper Ring, Springer's Solar, Storage Choice, and the Nudgy Rugby Support Group. On tonight's episode, Brisbane State High gnash their teeth as the final trial match of the year kicks off on Ross Oval in near perfect conditions. We go around the grounds for match highlights at Nudgee and Toowoomba with the under 12 Ds, fourths, thirds, under 16 As and the 14 Cs and Es. We turn the spotlight on our team in focus, the under 12 Bs and their tight tussle with Terrace. We have a new rugby skill and of course match highlights of the main game. Tonight on Nudgy Rugby Review. Hi, I'm Emily Laird and welcome to Nudgy Rugby Review. Last Saturday saw the sun emerge here at Nudgy and the fields turned from brown to green as Brisbane State High came out for the final trial round before the GPS season kicks off for real this coming Saturday. This week you're coming into another trial game. What have you put the boys through this week to get them prepared after last week? Um, I think like last week, 80% of what we did was really good. Probably the last sort of 10 minutes we, um, we'd like to have back. So I think for us this week it's just about trying to stay on task and play the full game out and finish the game well. Now next week is there's points, competition points up for grabs. What would you like to see from the boys today to make sure that they're ready for next week? Oh, I think we, we need to improve a couple of things. Probably our, our line out is probably one thing we need to improve. Also today it's... Um, two halves 35 minutes each half so just to make sure that we're running strong at the back end of those games and I think last week with it being wet we didn't get the chance to probably move the ball as much so it'd be good to see how we go with that today in a dry day. The boys are pretty tired so the, the Kairos is a their year 12 retreat program so it's pretty mentally exhausting I think for the boys but um, look they came back in good spirits they were tired but yeah we got through a little walk through just to get through some of our detail with our set piece and, and just a couple of how we're going to start the game and, and whatnot. But um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how they bounce back today. Let's have a look at the match highlights from the first 15. Yeah, the boys played pretty well. They played right to the end, which was good. Uh, the first 15 minutes wasn't great, but then I thought after that they, they knuckled down the task and did a nice job. I, I was happy with that defence in the second half. I thought that was good, and I think as the game went on, we got better just in terms of retaining possession. And going forward to next week, what are you going to be working on in training? Oh, we are just probably working this week on the start of our game, you know, just trying to, to start a bit better. Like next week's the first competition game against Gregory Terrace. They'll be fired up, so we need to start the game better. Oh, yeah, it was tough, you know, early on they were pretty physical, but... You know, we knew that um, they were going to get tired towards the end, so 
we struck towards that uh, the end of the first half and then second half put some points on. And looking forward to next week, what are you looking forward to most from the boys? Oh, just to put on the, hopefully put on the real jersey if I get picked, you know. Always wanted to play for the team and then just play with the, play with the, like all my mates in the team. You played the 16 A's this morning as well and then came on here. It's a lot of footy in one day. How are you feeling? Oh, always sore, but it's good to get on, especially in the first. And year 10, in year 10, it's a pretty good honour. Yeah. And how did you find the speed of that game and the physicality of the uh, first 15 game? Oh, it's definitely a step up. Like, definitely much quicker, but I think it was all right, yeah. And of course, the first 15 were one of 21 teams to play at home here at Nudgee. Let's go around the grounds and take a look at the action. Home day at Nudgee started early, with the under 11 Ds having a strong showing against Gregory Terrace under 11 E's in what will be a possible precursor to next week's big clash away at Tennyson. Shortly afterwards, the 4th and 6th 15 took on Toowoomba Grammar in a feisty encounter on Ross Oval. while two under-14 teams travelled west to the Garden City to take on Grammar in chilly but sunny conditions. Do you need your weekly fix of rugby action this winter? Nudgy Rugby YouTube for features, documentaries, rugby skills, interviews and much, much more. New content is released each week, including a brand new Nudgy Rugby review show and game day live every home day. Nudgy Rugby YouTube, your one-stop shop for all your rugby content. Please subscribe and like below. It's time for the Team in Focus and this week we're going to take a step back and have a look at how the 12 Bs are handling a fragmented preseason. The under 12 Bs have started the season strongly, but the results are a pleasant bonus with team spirit being the most important asset. We're always complimenting each other. If we miss a tackle, we're like, oh, it's all good. Just get, make sure you get the next one. It's a really great team. And our coaches are really nice. Our physicality and our intensity is very high, so they have to make sure they're on their A game when they come against Nudgy. I reckon if we can spread it out more or if we could just try to win most games, that'd be a really good achievement for Nudgy. Like most B teams in any age group, there is an all-important sizing up of their own nudgy competitors, with pride and selection on the line. Well, we always try each week we verse the A's, which makes us all think, yeah, this is, this is where we're meant to be or we're meant to be higher. And so we show ourselves to them and we always try and make sure that we try and beat the A's, which doesn't always happen. Really, really good, all right? Our spacing's the most good. notable change in the leap from under 11s to under 12s is the increased team numbers that take the field. Oh, there wasn't much difference, but um, there was probably more. The three extra players makes it a bit more difficult, more people on the field, much harder with the flankers and the fullback. The Bees took on a powerful Gregory Terrace with a solid performance, earning them a two-point win. So for the first about 10 minutes, it was a really tight game. There wasn't much movement in the field. Then uh, one of our forwards got a nice break 
enabling us to then spread it wide. Then we got through and got our first try. And then we replicated that again next in the next five minutes. And then at the start of the second half, it was very tight until it was getting late, getting into the game. And then they scored, making it very tight. But our defense held in and we played and just got out with a lucky win. Our back line played really well on the weekend, not enabling their backs to move up too much. I reckon we should maybe try and execute the tackles a bit more because our, their forwards were just getting too many meters, but they were a much bigger side than us. G'day Nudgy and g'day Nudgy Grandstand. Springer Solar are proud sponsors of the Nudgy Rugby Program. We may be green, we may be in a green industry, but we bleed blue and white. Myself and my two brothers are Nudgy old boys. Springer Solar are CEC accredited electrical contractors and we've been running for 18 years. We're master electricians, we are Solar Edge premium partners, we're an LG platinum dealer, we support products that are high quality and high performing. Partner with Springer Solar for your residential or commercial solar system. We were far from perfect today. We made a lot of errors again, probably not as many as last week, but there's a mountain of things to work on. And anything specific that you would work on? Oh, a lot of little things. Um, we're trying to keep the ball and we found that hard again today. So scored a try and then immediately after we scored, we lost the ball from the kickoff and they scored. So there's little things like that. It'll take a lot of pressure off us if we can fix them. Yeah, no, it was a good game. Um, we stayed really composed towards the end, which was good. We didn't um, step off the throttle there which I thought was really good from the boys. Look, I'm actually very, very proud of our team today. We were playing against a, um, a really good Brisbane State High School second 15 and the reality is we probably lost the physical battle. Um, but look, the boys were very disciplined. Um, we did a really good job during the week of improving our mechanics in and around the breakdown, so we were constantly onside. We didn't give away a single penalty for being offside. And our commitment to the tackle against far bigger bodies, was, it was excellent. Unfortunately, we got the loss, but just done by five, again, towards the second 15 team. So I was very proud of the boys, yeah. Well, to be honest, um, basically I just looked forward to it as a normal game. Just came with our head ups and all the boys were keen, ready to go, even though they're obviously bigger than us. In the first few minutes, they stored a couple of tries because we weren't spreading out enough. Though in the second half, we managed to get our defense better and spread out more, so they, didn't, so they only stored two tries. And we managed to store one try against them. We'll probably have to get better and improve with depth and spreading out, getting our defense better and latching onto the tackles. Well, at the end, at the end of the game, full time, I felt better because we were finally getting our defense and spreading out more. This August, witness Nudgy College from every perspective as we welcome you to experience all the colour and energy of a regular school day online. Our boys will walk you through the places and spaces that make our school so unique, as staff and students invite you to observe the college in full swing. Plus, there'll be a live Q&A with the college principal and other community members. Limited on-campus tours are also available. Nudgy College Open Morning, Tuesday 11th of August. Go to nudgy.com to register. The rugby program here at Nudgy College is a place where game education and skills acquisition is high on the list of priorities for coaching staff. And the Nudgy Rugby Skills Channel has been delivering a new skill each week since April. Here's the latest instalment. Today we're looking at a contact primer with a focus on arm grips in the tackle. 
Morning gents, we're going to continue our work on our tackle this morning. We're going to micro skill the importance of our arm grips in the tackle. So the way we're going to do that, I'm just going to demonstrate with Noah and um, Byron here. So all you're going to do here is you're going to walk towards Byron and just for the sake of the drill, I want you to make one change of direction pretty early so he knows whether you're going to go to his right or left shoulder. Yeah. Okay, as, as um, Noah approaches you, Schmitty, you're going to get your foot in the hoop, punch arms through and get your grips on. As he does that, I want you to just jump in the air, turn your core on and be really strong. And you're going to lift him up, take a few steps and put him down. Let's have a look at that. Righto, go. Really good, we'll go again. We'll just turn around, you go that way now. I want you guys to have a look at his arm grips and tell me about what he's doing. Yeah, so what, what, tell me about his arm grips. Yeah, so it's all about grabbing onto hand or wrist, okay, or forearm and locking it in. Head is the third arm, arms in tight. Few steps, put him down. Let's have a go. Spread out. So we just extend this a little bit, and you, I've noticed you're starting to do it. Ball carrier start to move a bit quicker now, and can put a little bit of late feet on our uh, our defender. Remember, as we as attack is approaching us, hands are up, elbows are in, nice and relaxed on that approach. Dipping late, foot in the hoop, punching arms through, getting our grips. Good, punching arms through, locking our grips in, finish the tackles. So just pick up our speed attackers. Get that lead leg in on that left shoulder, Byron. Left foot, left shoulder. Head in tight. Head's the third arm. Better. For more nudgy skills, please subscribe and like below. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next week at Gregory Terrace for the official start of the GPS season. But to take us out, here's some inspiration as Nudgy prepare to take on its brother's school. Have a great week. This week's episode of Nudgy Rugby Review is brought to you by 
Bank of Queensland Kipper Ring, Springer's Solar, Storage Choice, and the Nudgee Rugby Support Group.